Let's start the swimwear competition with Mr. International Philippines La Union candidate number one. Candidate number one is Mr. John Ray. He is a certified chef from the municipality of San Juan. He is a passionate in promoting zero waste management and aims to make all the San Juan Nenos proud. He's got that sugar and spice with everything nice. Our candidate number one, John Ray Apiado. Mr. International Philippines, La Union. Candidate number two, Mr. Mick Vince Neal Araojo. He is from the city of San Fernando. He is a pageant title holder who is also a marketing professional. He's got the wit and the might, fighting with all his might, a certified king with a heart. Ladies and gentlemen, candidate number two from San Fernando. Approaching the stage is candidate number one, Mr. Aaron James Bautista. Aaron James is representing the municipality of San Gabriel. He wants to be an educator and at the same time dreams to be on the runway. Spread your wings and try new things. That's candidate number three, Aaron Bautista. Please welcome our candidate number four, Mark Luis Sarma. Mark Luis is from the city of San Fernando. He stands six feet two inches. He has a degree and who recently passed his board exams. We got a new nurse on duty and is now ready. From the city of San Fernando, Mark Sarma. Coming up is candidate number five, Mr. Loreto Erno Jr. Loreto is from the municipality of Sudipen. He hopes to win tonight, given that he is from a family of pageant veterans. Give your best and get the crown. Make a big shot and win your spot from Sudipen, Loreto Erno Jr. Office candidate number six, Mr. Paolo Santiago. Paolo Santiago is a professional who independently lives at Aringay, La Union. He is a banker who envisions for a healthier environment. Walk with confidence and make a difference. Candidate number six, Paolo Santiago. Taking the stage is candidate number seven. Candidate number seven is Mr. Mark Donald Avinoha. Mark is a non-commissioned police officer from Nagilian, La Union. He has a degree in information technology and aims to make the Nagilianans proud. He says, life is beautiful, so let's make it meaningful. That's our mighty police officer, Mark Donald Abinoha. Approaching the stage is candidate number 8, Aquiles Troy Villaver. Troy is from the city of San Fernando. He wants to inspire others and be a role model as he advocates for the solo parents. Go win this round and make your mama proud. Candidate number eight, Achilles Troy. Coming up is our candidate number nine, J.R. Naanos. J.R. Naanos is from the municipality of Luna. He is a proud alumnus of Beyonce University in South Seoul, Korea. This is his first time to join the pageant and he is up for the challenge to 
to make his own mark. Not as hard as rock, but he is ready to rock. That's your Amboy Opa Junior Naano. Alright, please welcome candidate number 10, Edwin Kamat. Edwin Kamat is representing Santor La Union. He aims to be a future technical vocational educator with a mission to empower and inspire the next generation. Go on, push yourself, aspire to inspire, and that's our good boy from Santol, Edwin. Last but definitely not the least, our candidate number 11, Neil Perez. Neil Perez is from the city of San Fernando. He is a professional runway model and a brand ambassador in Manila. He likes to try if he, he can make it in world of pageantry. Just keep trying and may you continue flying from the city of San Fernando, Neil Perez. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our swimwear competition. Oh, wow, that was, or the stage was on fire.